Hello, it's me again. We're now going towards the outer rims of our solar system. And now we're at what we would call the ice giants. Still large, gigantic planets. But chemical composition that is, in addition to hydrogen and helium, you've got ice crystals, you've got water, you've got methane. So they're a colder type of uh, entity. So here's Uranus. That early on, an Earth-sized planet came by and smacked it and actually made it go go towards 90 degrees of its orbit. So instead of the poles being up and down in the plane of the sun, it's actually facing um, where the equators are up and down. So whereas before it was, it, the poles should be up, it was smacked 90 degrees. Hence the uh, position of the non-bandaged cubes being 90 degrees from each other. Each pole sees the sun for 42 years and then has the other side see it for 42 years. 42, which happens to be the number of the answer to the question of life, the universe, and everything. Abracadabra. All right, so we got our scramble on. So I'm going to start off with one that's opposite one of my non-banded sides, in this case, white. Could be, you know, could be whichever one. And I'm going to start off by getting my inner cross here. So now I'm going to want to put the inner, the outer edge pieces here. Now in this case I have to be cognizant of this other banded side that's just at right angles to the uh, bottom banded side. So I'm going to want to preferentially do those first. So I'm going to get um, this, the, the green and white side first here. So looking for the green and white edge piece, it's right over here. To get this, I'm going to have to put the green edge down here because notice if I move it in, this doesn't move with it. So I can't drag it from I can't drag it from up here. So let's just find a green edge and just move it in. So go like this, go like that. Simple stuff. So here's the green and white. I'm going to first get my get a green in here. So there's a green there, and now I'm going to move a white into position. Actually, we'll put this down here. So we'll bring this up, and now here's the white that we're going to move in. Move this up, move the white in, then I'm going to move it down. So I've got my green and white. Simple stuff. Just move back my cross here. Let's find another one. Here's an orange and white. So I'm going to put the orange one in and then the white one. So we'll just move this up, move it by an orange one. Be sure to move this down. And now I have to move it to the white. To turn this upside down, I'm going to do that same algorithm that I used for Saturn cube to move it from here to here. So in this case, it's going to be F, R, I, F, I, R. It brings it here, and I'm going to do it again to bring it up here. And there, I'm going to bring this close to my orange center, move the white one up, move it in, and drag it back. So. So I'm just going to follow suit. Now oh, why don't we do the red one? Do the algorithm to move it up. And do it again so that I have the red side poking up. Just do it twice. All right. If I went too fast for that, or if you don't remember that, just reference the Saturn Cube tutorial. But anyway, here is the red. Move it into here. Now what I want to do is move it so that the white is facing up. Move it down this way. So in this case, I did just the opposite to move it from here to here to here to here, which was the um, F-I-L-F-L-I. Anyway, so it's here. So move it into position here. Then I'm going to move my white one that's adjacent to the red center. Move it up here. Nab it, grab it, and drag it. So. I've got all of these in place, so far piece of cake. Well, let's do some ninja type action moves to move this up. So I'm going to move this up here. Bring it up here so that I can move it out of the way. And then move this back down. So I'm going to find a purple one to put in place here. We'll use this one. So I'm going to move this down. All right, so now this is up. Find the purple center. Here's the white one. Move the white one up, bring this in, bring this down. All right, so we have, as promised, our complete cross on the one side. Now it's a question of, of filling all these in. 
But because I've got this extra banded side, I'm going to want to start with that because I have to do it a little bit differently as the uh, various moves aren't going to move these um, inner edges here. So in order to set this up, I have to get the two greens over here. And I need to use a non-bandaged side in order to roll things in. And the best one to use is the one that's just 180 degrees from it. So I need to move this into here. And I can do that if I want it to get into this part over here. I'm just going to move this up by one. Then I'm going to move this over here. Put it in to replace it. Move it back. And then i got to move these guys back. So you can see the end result is I put this green one to the side. None of these got messed up. So now I've got to put one over here. Well, I don't have what I need here, so I've got to put one there. So I can put one from the top. If I don't have the top, I can, I can move one there. So here's one that I can use. I'm going to move it up. I'm going to move it in. Then I'm going to move it down. So there it is over here. So let's move this in. Turn it to replace. Turn it back to bring it there, and then we have to make sure that we move this one back in also. Now that I have this here, I'm going to be looking, in my case, for the orange and green. So here's the orange and green. What the technique is going to be is I want to fill, I, I, I want a solid orange side, because once I have that, I can move it from here to here, or I can put it on its side and move from the green side here to here. By doing my F-I-L-F-L-I, -L -L brought it here and do it again and it brings it up here and coincidentally enough it gave me my yellow side here and I'm gonna flip this over so that this can be secured in one of these non banded sides so do it once and do it twice and that puts it up here once I do that I'm just gonna to go to my orange side and I'm gonna do that same algorithm to flip it from here to here my FI L F, L, I, and see it flipped it right in there with this guy here, green and red, in the top. All right, there's the red one on top. I got to put a red one in. It doesn't matter where it comes from. Eh, this just happens to be at the right center, but who cares? Here and then down. So now I'm going to flip this up to here, holding this at the front. F, R, I, F, I, R, and there it is. Here. And look at that, just like magic, it worked, so it's in here. So now that we've isolated this part of the banded side, the non-banded side rather, we're going to go ahead and start filling these guys in. So I've got the blue here, I'm going to want to put red up here. Let's move this up, and then find a red, here's the red. I've got the right red, but I don't have the right blue. So I'm going to move it to where the blue is facing up. Now what I mean by right blue is it's got to come from this plane, either here or here or here. And I don't have anything like that. So the red is already isolated. I'm going to move this across. And I have to borrow one of these guys to put it up there. I'm going to put it here. So I have my red and blue opposite end here. I'm going to turn it like so, being cognizant of what I did with the white. Move it up. And then move my piece into position. And then move it down. Then I have to move this back down. So what this did is it put it just by the red that we need. This is all review from the previous tutorial, but it's worth reviewing again. So I've got all of these in place. Next, uh, the orange and the blue, right over here. So we'll just put a blue in place over here. Now I have to move the orange one up. So I'm going to have to move it. It's going to knock these out, but they're still going to be in the proper configuration, which will make it easier to put in. So to be facing up. Here it is. This is knocked out, but we can put that in later. Now I want to put this in configuration, and it's got to be within this plane here, here, or here, and I got it over here. I'll move it back like this, because what, what I did with that is I moved this out, so I want to be able to move it back, this part here. So move this here, move this up, move this into the proper place, and then move it down to get the white one down. And there it is. It's right where it needs to be. Now I'm going to move this back down to here, which will bump this up here, so I can do my little leapfrog domino effect here. That's back where it needs to be. This has been bumped up, and this comes down here. Boom. So once again, we've made short work of this whole side over here and over here.